as we're coming into these darker days of the year, uh, we are going to continue our focus today on courage and developing the will. And uh, we will be starting off with a short Kriya that contains a pranayam called Surya Kriya. Surya is the power of the sun energy. And it's, it's to bring some of that light into our bodies and minds. And then we'll move into it's Nabi Kriya part two. So it's not the one we did last week if you were here. It's um, Nabi Kriya for Prana Apana. Nabi is the navel point. Kriya is a set of actions. So we're going to strengthen the will that will give us courage as we move to the third chakra to the fourth. That requires a lot of courage, doesn't it? We can't be sitting in our fear uh, although it, as tempting as it is to stay there, uh, we have to find, get a strong will, courage to break through that knot of Vishnu and open up our hearts. And uh, that is the goal of the practice today. And then we'll end with a meditation uh, for courage. Courage, the root word core, C-O-R, that's of the heart. So the two are really connected. Feeling your sitting bones connecting to the mat, to the earth. Imagining the roots going down very deeply into the earth, connecting, connecting. And at the same time, our spine is lifting, lifting, lifting. So we're creating that axis, the ax axis mundi. It's, the, uh, it's that center point going from the earth up into the spiritual world. We'll use our spine as the axis mundi today. Opening up the heart center as you inhale, or really opening up the belly, beginning the long deep breathing, bringing the breath up, open up the rib cage, and bring the breath consciously all the way up to the collarbones. On the exhale, reverse the process, bringing it back down through the heart center and pulling the navel point in. That's long, deep breathing. And as you are continuing a few more breaths of long, deep breathing, allow an intention for today's class to come to the surface. It's not an intention from the ego. It's not, I want this, or uh, it, it's not really about being goal oriented. It's being soul guided. We're asking our soul, what is it that we need to do today? What do I need to bring courage to today? All right, and before every Kundalini yoga class, we tune in with the Adi Mantra. If you're not familiar with the words, I put them at the top of the chat. We'll follow that by the mantra for protection. If you do not know the words, just allow the vibrations to kind of wash over you. Rubbing the palms of the hands together, feeling your spine nice and straight, if you need a cushion, remember keeping the hips elevated so that the knees are lower. That really strengthens, late, straightens out your spine, tilting the chin forward a little bit so that you open up the flow of energy in the back of the neck. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Eyes are closed. Inhale deeply. Exhale. And inhale to tune in. Om Namo.
mi? Tüker göreğinli mi? Sat göreğinli mi? Sidi göre değil, reynli mi? Al göreğinli mi? Şigar göreğinli mi? Sat göreğinli mi? Sidi göre değil, reynli mi? Al göreğinli mi? Şigar göreğinli mi? Sat göreğinli mi? Sidi göre değil, reynli mi? Inhale deeply, suspend the breath. Exhale, relax the hands down. We'll begin with right nostril breathing. I will be timing everything. So in case you see me reaching for my phone, that is why. The left hand is in Gyan Mudra, index and thumb touching and just resting on your knee. Blocking off your left nostril, we'll begin right nostril breathing. Inhale deeply and slowly through the right nostril. We will not be changing nostrils, opening up the belly as you inhale, drawing the breath all the way up. When you get to the maximum, simply reverse. Exhale, bringing the breath back down and pulling at the navel. allowing the eyes to remain closed and the focus is inside. Allow your mind to follow the breath, conscious breathing. If your mind wanders, and it will, simply notice and come back to your breath with compassion, not frustration. Allowing the mind to rest, simply following the breath and allowing that inner turbulence to calm like the ripples on a pond. The pond will become like glass. The right nostril energy, the pingala nadi, the masculine energy helps us to focus, come out of the fog and get clear. And sometimes we really need that energy of clarity.
Inhale deeply through the right nostril, suspend the breath. Exhale, relaxing the hand down onto your knee and just allow your eyes to remain closed and focused inside during this brief pause. And just so that you know, if you do have questions, I again will be opening up the tiles so that you can be seen and speak after the class. And so I welcome you to stay for a little conversation or Q&A. Excellent. Okay, the next exercise is Sat Kriya. And this is an exercise that can be done all on its own. Whereas uh, the Kriya sets should be done in the sequence taught. Prasat Kriya, coming onto your knees. The mantra is Sat Nam, Sat Nam. On the Sat, pull the navel point in. And you'll notice that the, also the muscles of the pelvic floor naturally lift. Sat, on the Nam, relax. The mudra or hand position is to interlace the fingers, extend the Jupiter, the index fingers, and cross the thumbs. For women, it's left thumb over right. For men, it's right over left. Satnam, truth is my identity. The arms are going to come above the head. Shoulders are down as much as you can. The arms are hugging the ears. And lips, eyes are closed, focused at the brow point, and please follow my lead. Sat nam, 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 sat Nam 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 sat 
Nam, Sat, Nam. Inhale deeply. Suspend the breath. Pull the muscles of the pelvic floor up. Squeeze the energy from the base of the spine up to the crown. Exhale, relax the arms down gracefully through your auric field. And just rest for a few moments. And we're going to follow this up with just one more minute of Sat Kriya. And let's begin. Sat Nam, 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 Sat Nam 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 sat Na sat na inhale deeply suspend the breath apply root lock and squeeze the energy up the spine to the crown exhale relaxing the hands down and coming back into easy pose. So just take a moment, you know, scan your body, scan your experience. It's very important to allow the yoga to meet you where you're at and not compare yourself to anybody I guess that would only be me today, but uh, the idea is to really learn how to get in tune and in touch with your own body. If something becomes too much for you, just simply put your arms down, but keep the visualization, keep your mental focus. All right, and now grabbing hold of the ankles for spinal flex. Inhale as you rock forward, exhale back keeping the chin in a slight neck lock and synchronize the breath and the motion. If someone's in the room with you, they should be able to hear you breathing. It should be that powerful. Start off slowly and then just, you know, again, check in. If it feels good to speed it up a bit, do so, but it's not necessary. This Kriya, Surya Kriya, will help us feel a little bit more extroverted. Many of us, particularly with the, with the resurgence of the virus right now, uh, we are kind of renewing our efforts to stay um, isolated a bit. And uh, with things closing, at least in Washington state, you know, things are closed down pretty much as far as restaurants or any public things. So, uh, you know, so for the introverts, Introverts like myself, you know, we don't notice that much difference, but uh, many of us are extroverts 
And this kind of helps move that extrovert energy. It kind of brings back to the surface, makes you engaged with the sun energy. Inhale center, suspend the breath, apply root lock. Exhale and relax. Just be with the experience, just dropping out of our head, dropping out of the thoughts and just feel, feel what it feels like to have the energy moving. Maybe you don't really feel anything specific. That's okay. Just be with whatever it is. All right, the next exercise is frogs. And the, um, at, at the uh, advanced level, one would do 108. Um, I'm recommending 26 or even 13. Coming into a, a position such as this, the heels are touching and the feet are spread 60 degrees. In the down position, the head is facing forward. Uh, keep your eyes closed unless you need them open for balance. Again, use common sense. And the fingers are just cupped into the ground. On the inhale, power up with the breath and the legs. Inhale up and exhale down. That's one round. So continue for either 13, 26 or whatever. And when you're finished, come back into rock pose, sitting on your heels. The frog pose is, the frog pose exercise is good for the second chakra, creativity, the area of the sexual energy to distribute that. And now we will do neck turns. I'll just wait another minute in case people are doing full 26. All right, now just hands on the thighs. Inhale as you rotate your head to the left, which of course will be opposite looking at the camera. And then exhale to the right. Inhaling left, exhaling right. Again, synchronize the breath and the motion. If the mind wanders, just come back to the breath. Give that monkey mind a break.
and inhale center. Coming into easy pose for a spinal bend. We're going to be working the spine this way. And to do so, to place your hands on your shoulders, fingers in front, thumbs in the back. Exhale to the left, inhale up, exhale to the right, a nice smooth motion. And find a pace that works for you. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Really open up the side of the rib cage, giving your spine a nice stretch in this different motion. This also balances our magnetic field. Especially if it's rhythmic. And now go deep the last 30 seconds. And inhale, center. Exhale, relax the hands down. Allow the eyes to remain closed and just enter into a light meditative state. Surya Kriya, an excellent set to systematically stimulate the pranic life energy force stimulating the kundalini giving us the ability to get clarity it's hard to move through these times without some clarity i don't know about you but sometimes i get on instagram or i'm you know, playing a scrabble game and my mind is just going in this happy little loop. And sometimes we just need to stop that and allow our mind to get clear without the continual need for stimulus. Okay, and now we'll get ready to begin Nabi Kriya for Prana Apana. And again, Nabi is that nerve plexus, the Manapura Chakra, the third, right below the navel point. When we get uh, our strength, we're able to really, uh, when our navel point is strength, we'll really be able to do the meditations as we will, as for the example of today's, where we're pulsating that navel point. It's kind of hard to be whipping it quickly if our navel is kind of energetically sloppy. Uh, so this, we start with a life nerve stretch variation, and this is going to balance the polarity of the aura. So the aura is nothing more than a magnetic field, and magnetic fields have a positive and negative attraction. And so we're balancing that polarity. And so uh, in this 
exercise. One leg comes stretched out and the other, the sole of the foot rests against the upper thigh. The eyes are closed. Inhale, exhale down and the um, placing the fingers in toe lock and that means taking the first two fingers, wrapping them around the big toe, taking your thumb and pressing it into the nail bed. And now begin a powerful breath of fire. And as a reminder, breath of fire is a breath where you're pulling the navel point in on the exhale. And I do have additional videos on that uh, for more information. It's like a dog panting except through the nose. Keeping the back of the knee on the floor, we want to feel the stretch in back of the leg and the sciatica. Inhale deeply, suspend the breath, pull up the muscles of the pelvic floor. Exhale down to your maximum stretch. Hold the breath out. And switch legs. Inhaling and stretching down and begin a powerful breath of fire. And again, ladies, if you are on your early menstrual cycle or maybe pregnant, always <clears throat> substitute long deep breathing. Prana, the life force energy. Apana is the opposite, the eliminating force. When we go shopping and fill up our closets with clothes, if we don't periodically purge and get rid of and circulate, we'll turn into hoarders. So similarly with our body, the prana and apana, you take in fresh prana, but you have to to release the old, the spent energy, get rid of it. Inhale. 
Inhale deeply, suspend the breath. Fly root lock. By pulling up the muscles of the pelvic floor, same thing. Exhale, holding breath out. Wonderful. And now come lying on your back for kicking buttocks. As odd as it may sound, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to let our heels bounce on our buttocks. It stimulates meridians in the uh, for digestion. Synchronize the breath. Inhale, exhale. And relax, stretching the legs out. We're going to begin leg push pulls. The head remains on the floor. And if you've got lower back issues, you might want to take your, your hands and just make little fists and just support your buttocks. Otherwise, they can just stay to the sides. And it's a piss, piston motion. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Engaging the navel point. And let's begin. Use the power of the breath to make the movement go. Toes are pointed. So this is not bicycle, we're just in and out. Engaging the navel, pressing the lower back into the floor. Inhale and relax and just let your body go. And now let's come into position for front platform. The palms are underneath the shoulders about hip width apart and the uh, legs are stretched out. The tops of the feet are on the floor. And begin a breath of fire, keeping the body as straight as you reasonably can. Just for one minute, do your best.
Excellent. Inhale and relax, coming back onto your back. And again, just re releasing any tension, relaxing your muscles. Just one more of abdominal and then make it easy. If this is very challenging for you, you'll want to definitely take the next one easy, maybe five seconds on, five seconds off. Uh, you don't want to make it so that you're having trouble walking tomorrow. And that's, uh, we're going to do stretch pose. And um, make sure the small of the back is pressed into the floor to prevent any back injury. So the exercise looks like this. Breath of fire. The eyes are open, gazing over the toes. If you need to bring the legs up a little bit to make it easier, modify, allow the yoga to meet you where you're at. And let's begin, just for one minute. Excellent, inhale and relax. Good job, that's, that's the end of the abdominals. And come sitting in easy pose. Now we're moving up into the heart area and <clears throat> stretch your arms out and really just uh, tense the fingers so you're really separating the fingers and take a couple of nice, long, deep breaths through the, <clears throat> through the nose. And the next sequence we'll do twice. Make fists of your hands and you're going to imagine that you're pulling a great weight, like, like a team of horses or something of great weights described. And then you're going to bring your fist towards your heart center. And when it comes close, you're not gonna to touch. You're going to release with a cannon breath through the mouth. Okay, so let's do that twice. Inhale, suspend the breath and pull towards the heart center. Exhale, cannon. <sighs> Healing for the heart. Again, one more time. Inhale deeply. Suspend and pull. <sighs> okay, and now arms are out 60 degrees. So if they're straight out, just bring them in as if you're reaching to hug somebody, but just stop right there. And just allow the eyes to close. Breathing deeply. Again, tensing the fingers. Long, deep breathing. Stretching the hands, stretching the fingers as far apart as they'll go.
Excellent. And now bring the hands so they're about four or six inches apart. And just play with that magnetic energy a little bit. It's just slightly pulse your, your palms apart. See if you can feel that. Without too much concentration, just let it be. Just simply notice. The polarity within our own bodies, the negative and the positive, magnetic fields. It causes the cells to work, it causes the heart to beat. It's about as basic as you can get. And now bring the palms together and just rest them at the heart center, taking in that energy, lightly pressing your thumbs into the sternum. This is also a beautiful Kriya for alleviating mild depression that kind of settles into a lot of people around the holidays and in the Pacific Northwest, certainly with the, um, the very little sunshine we get during the day. It can have an effect. And now inhale, keeping your hands in this position, exhaling down, inhaling up and continue this bowing motion. And inhale up, just breathe normally now. Keeping the eyes closed in a meditative state. And if you do have to leave early, please try to get in just a few minutes of the deep relaxation. I'll give you a warning when it's about two minutes to 10. And now come lying on your back for deep relaxation. This is where the actual work gets done. And I'm not trying to be funny. It's really where your body makes the subtle adjustments. We did all the work and now let the wisdom of the body take over. Keeping the arms out to the sides, the palms are up. Letting go of every muscle, you are lying down, and I will be seated just holding the space for you. As you relax your feet, the toes, the ankles, the 
calf muscles are relaxing, the knees are relaxing, and the legs are relaxing. Relaxing the navel point. The heart center. Relaxing the arms and shoulders. The head. And just allowing your body now to float in a beautiful field of white and gold energy. I will call you back shortly. Letting go of any thoughts you may have. And for those of you who needed to leave at 10 o'clock, it's about two minutes to 10. The rest of you continue to go deeper and just surrender to the experience.
Inhale gently and begin to bring your awareness back into the room. Making small circles with your wrists and ankles. And when you're ready, stretch your arms out over your head, pointing your fingers to the wall behind you, pointing your toes the opposite direction and feel the spine stretching, making room for the bird brain. Nice, big stretch. Out of our heads, into our bodies. And now arms out to the sides. And either bringing both knees to one, either folding both knees over or just one knee. Stretch your head goes the opposite direction. Trying to keep your shoulders on the floor. If you have any hip issues, sometimes it's easier to do both to get the full stretch. And now switch sides. And rub the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. Stimulating the 72,000 nerve endings, grab hold of the knees and rock on the spine a couple times, giving your spine a massage. And please come sitting for meditation. And as I mentioned earlier, this is meditation for, just set my timer here. Meditation for courage. And sometimes Kundalini yoga is called the yoga of angles. And this is one of the meditations where that becomes obvious. So with the left arm, you're going to make a Gyan Mudra with the hand and the left arm is going to be up 60 degrees or 11 o'clock with the Mudra. So we'll just, just keep that in mind. I don't want you to hold it up while I'm explaining. So we're going to be using Mudra, Mantra and um, breath work. The right hand will be in Surya Kriya. You may, may remember that word Surya from the first Kriya we did, meaning sun energy, touching the thumb and the ring finger of the right hand. And that's just going to go right up against your body. Thumb and ring finger pressing Surya Mudra. The mantra is Hara. It's H A R and pronounced hada. And the idea is to try to flick your tongue on the roof of the mouth. But in this case, we're actually going to be doing it silently. So sometimes mantras are done vocally and sometimes silently. You're still going to vibrate that sound, hada, hada. And the hada is going to be pulsed with the navel point. So how do we do that? The sequence is to inhale deeply, exhale, hold the breath out, and then begin pumping the navel point in eight times on the health, the breath is out. And with each pulse, you're going to mentally chant hada, 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 eight times and then breathe in normally. So you'll be going at your own pace. And this is where those uh, abdominal exercises really pay off because to be able to pulse that navel point in so it's really bouncing uh, takes work and practice. Again, allow the yoga to meet you where you're at. Uh, if you can only really pulse it a couple times, um, that's fine. Just start where you're at and then your body will get, you know, once you learn how to do it, it'll become easier. Okay, so we'll be doing this just for five minutes. You build up to it to about 11 minutes maximum. All right, so again, 
the left arm, the left hand, Gyan Mudra, thumb and index finger up like that. And then we have the right hand in Surya Mudra. The eyes are focused at the brow point. We'll do the first round together and then you'll find your own pace. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Mentally chant har as you pulse your navel. And then inhale. Exhale. Hold the breath out. Chant and pulse hada. Eight times. Continuing now at your own pace.
Inhale deeply. Exhale, hold the breath out and pulse the navel as many times as you're reasonably able to. Inhaling when you need to. Exhale and relax the hands down. Allow the eyes to remain closed and just stay with your internal experience. Just in a meditative state. Inhaling and exhaling and just taking a moment to give gratitude for yourself, for showing up for yourself. I know on Sunday mornings, it's easier to just kind of roll over or get another cup of coffee, play another Scrabble game, whatever your little vices are. I think most of us have some. And, um, you know, just say, hey, I showed up, I did my yoga and the reward is to feel that great feeling we get after we're done practicing. I think that most people get, at least the ones that keep coming back. I certainly do. It's like the before and after of yoga, it's a no brainer. All right, so with that, we'll close with a long Sat Nam. And really remember, chanting from the navel, finding your own voice. We're not singing, we're really just, we're toning and that, stimulates that vagus nerve, the nerve of compassion, makes us feel good, keeps us healthy. And afterwards, as I mentioned, you can come on um, you know, the video portion for questions or just to say hi and uh, connect for a few minutes. Rubbing the palms of the hands together, placing them at the heart center, inhale deeply, exhale, and inhale to close. So Nam Satnam. The class is over. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.